theme of thinking, defining, and creating is all about innovation. So my talk is about the art of innovation, discovering what's possible. So today, I'm a senior high school student from STI College, Cubao, and I've done a lot of things and I've learned a lot about innovation throughout my years in school since I was in kindergarten, which I would like to pass on to you right now so you may go discover new things and learn from my experience. Back when I was a kid, around 4 to 5 years old, my siblings used to have our first desktop computer. In terms of web browsers, since it was not as advanced as in today's generation, they only use Internet Explorer, a series of graphical web browsers um, developed by Microsoft. Until Google Chrome was founded around 2008, it opened up more options for us than ever before. It was built with the latest web ideas in mind, boosting both usability and it is more innovative. It was also more convenient and efficient to use and makes the the surfing faster. According to statistics, as of today, this is the platform most media consumers uses in their everyday lives around the world. So what do I imply about this? Are you aware of the fact that the little device in your pocket gives you more communication and power digital skills than the people from the past years had? In 1985, that's 36 years ago from now, fax machines became popular. A printed sheet of paper could be sent across telephone lines and receive hold on the other end. Until 1989, where Motorola, a multinational American telecommunications company, introduced as a microtac. A microtac, where tax stands for total area coverage. It is a pocket cellular telephone that is obviously more innovative and more convenient to use. This set the standard and became the model for modern flip phones today because it has a flip design um, where the mouthpiece can be folded over the keypad. And now we have smartphones, a mobile device that combines cellular and mobile computing functions into one unit. They are distinguished from feature phones by their stronger hardware capabilities and extensive mobile operating systems, um, which facilitate wider software, internet, and multimedia functionality, such as including music, camera, um, gaming, videos, alongside the core phone functions, such as um, voice calls and text messaging. This just shows that technology is giving us a whole new world with whole new possibilities, new opportunities. And why is that so? It is because of innovation. When you go from telephone to internet, TV innovations from the original invention, TV has made many new advances, many new advancements, such as better uh, quality picture, color, cable, becoming more and more popular with time. Great innovation occurs on the next curve. It has deep lots of features and better functionalities. Great products are empowering. They make you more creative, more productive. They enhance you, they change the meaning of your life, they make you more creative, more powerful, more productive. If smartphones would be dead today, it would be a different world. How many days in a week do you leave your smartphone at home? Do you even remember um, that few years ago you didn't possess a smartphone? And surprisingly, you survived. What happened in the meantime so that this little object became suddenly necessary for us and for other people, billion people around the world? Beyond the phone itself, enabling us to call or text someone through this small device we have, smartphones have become necessary because of at least five features it can provide us. Connectivity, efficiency, entertainment, functionality, and convenience. Thus, beyond connectivity and efficiency, 
smartphones are bought because they are functionally to do mostly everything. To do pretty much everything. They capture life moments with camera. You can listen to your favorite music, um, do online shopping, book a hotel, find a good restaurant, watch your favorite TV shows and movies, and so on. Also, one of the greatest services of your smartphone ever may be that you won't get lost anymore. Thanks to GPS functions. Things that you can do with the, invention, with the inventions back in the days. For all these reasons, we should not consider our smartphones as a product, but rather like a platform of services that allows its users to do almost everything. Life was very difficult during those days as mobile phone was not present in that time. People were not aware of what's going on. It was difficult for them to share information with other people. But today, today it's very easy with the help of many social medias. Today in the modern world, we are dependent on mobile phones. People in the 21st century live in a technology and media suffused environment marked by an abundance of information, the access to rapid changes in technology tools. We use mobile to communicate, to learn something new, to explore. This small device in our pocket has changed our lives a lot and the innovation of mobile phones had transformed the world a lot which made human life easier. According to Guy Kawasaki, the art of innovation starts with the desire to make meaning. And making meaning means that you want to change the world. But my, fourth, but my first thought about this, how can you make meaning? How can you change the world? Just like I said earlier about the web browsers that my brothers used to um, utilize, in, um, in Google Chrome, with Google Chrome, they wanted to democratize information and many other medias. So they built that platform in order to make information available to everyone. That's the meaning they make. They made this kind of meaning and obviously they've been highly successful. So what I notice is that if you truly want to make meaning, it, it's the first step towards innovation. It's a matter of perspective and it is when you decide on the kind of meaning you will make. This has huge implication on us, on the society. Most of the CEOs um, in large organizations today actually say, according to a study, that innovation is a, creep, is a key priority. For them, it is a key priority. However, saying so is not the same as doing so. It's all about execution. It's not about having a bright idea of how to innovate, but about what you do with it. Now, it is hard to innovate. And why is that so? If you really want to drive a change, it is really difficult to do so because firstly, firstly, innovation is per definition. Um, doing something new. You will do something new, something different, something unique. Secondly, the hardships of everyone in coping the increasing speed of change of the technology. And lastly, about finding and fostering the right people. Because innovation, I believe, is not just about finding the new bright ideas, not about having all these processes in place or having innovation in your strategy. It's about finding the right people around you. People that are passionate about what they do and want to drive a change. You all probably all heard that innovation is about creativity and it's really similar to what happens when a teacher comes into the classroom and tell, and tell the class to group themselves and make a report. In order to think something related to the topic you will discuss, we often hear someone from our group say that, Hey, we have to think out of the box. Come on, give me your creative ideas. Think out of the box. I want your opinion. I need innovation. It's easy and simple but actually very hard to do. 
to think creatively, to, to go out of the box is not just as easy as packing a picnic lunch or playing card or board games with someone. But we all have to know that it's necessity for ourselves as human beings. According to Giovanni Corazza, we must have a clear definition so that we are really talking about something specific. It's not our mind, he said, because we cannot think out of our minds. The boundary, the boundary, it's about the boundary within our minds. The boundary of what we know and the boundary of what we haven't still yet thought about. We have boundary conditions, which is the environment. We have indirect experience. Years and years spent in school to learn what other people have thought, what other people have discovered, what other people have created. I heard of a quotation that says, A quick jump out of the box is more insightful than a lifetime of standard thinking. We don't know what possibilities and opportunities we can do if we take that risk. If you take that risk to go out of your box. It just shows us that it's possible and, it not, and it's not too hard actually to think out of the box. If we really have that drive and intention in ourselves to make a change and innovate. That is the art of innovation. Thank you very much.